Kingo. Okay, this is officially recording. And Kara, thank you. Can you please uh, talk to, talk with us about your process with the latest lead that you got a contract with? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So it's Cindy Walsh. Uh -huh. I got Cindy under contract. I got her through the Facebook ad, um, and her home. At the initial perception was it was that it was a pretty typical fix and flip that it was a good candidate for a cash offer uh, because it was good bones good neighborhood but the home was in disrepair and needed quite a bit of work so that was great it was a very straightforward type of lead um, it I initially started talking with her and we started talking about her house I went down to her, her she lives about an hour away mm -hmm. I drove down there and probably spent an hour with her the first day just you know, she's a talker, listened to her quite a while, got her whole family story, that kind of thing, um, which, you know, at this point, it was important for me to to make progress on some of these leads. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to do anything I could for him and had a good, good conversation and a good afternoon meeting with her. Um, I initially, the deal got a little bit complicated because I was trying to sell her another lead that came in, that mobile home that we talked about before. But mm -hmm. after a week of back and forth on that, we realized that made it too complicated to move forward. Uh, so it took probably another 10 days of working mm -hmm. with her daily to get her to sign everything. Not that she had any verbal objections, but just technical objections and excuses and, and there's, you know, family drama, the whole story. But eventually was able to get her under contract. And I got her under contract at 240. Uh-huh which uh, it was just a good timing when I met her. She had several other offers at the same price, but had poor experience working with the representatives from those other companies and ultimately decided uh, that she trusted me enough to move forward with me. And I got her under contract at 240, um, had a really good reception when I put it out to my buyers at that price. I think I got it in a good deal. And it was a neighborhood that happened to have a lot of hedge fund activity. So that, you know, you, you don't price anything different for that. I still priced it for a cash buyer, but I knew there was a possibility that they could get involved and, and increase what an assignment might look like. So I originally put it out to my cash buyers at 265, mm -hmm. um, had several inter people interested in that, but got contacted by uh, an individual. It's a JV situation. So I signed a joint venture with another wholesaler who was working with um, a fund out of Atlanta that was buying in that neighborhood. And once we started talking about the property, realized it was a good fit and submitted it to, um, you know, through that process. The, I got it under their preliminary offer, which I, I knew from the get-go that this was a preliminary offer pending an inspection was 305. Uh -huh. And after the inspection, they dropped it to 270. Okay. So I am moving forward with them at 270. And the title company should be getting all the assignment paperwork this afternoon. Uh, we'll close on September 8th. Oh, wow. And there will be a 21 day lease back. Okay, so you've got a 30K deal out of uh, Cindy, right? Yeah, so my takeaway after the JV split is 18, is 60% okay. of that. Okay, 18K. That's actually really, really good numbers. Yeah, yeah, it's a good. Um, you know, the numbers were just good on this one. I got uh -huh. it at a good price and the neighborhood was on the upswing. And so I knew I had a larger than anticipated or, or maybe larger than average assignment fee coming my way. Uh -huh. wow, wow, that's really, really good news. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And I wanted to ask you if you, well, do you have any other clients right now on their contract or in the process of being on their contract? I do. I've got a lot has taken place in the last two weeks. Uh -huh. um, I have made a verbal offer to Anthony, and I believe there's a good chance he, he's going to uh, give me a response on Monday. Uh -huh. But he's a lead that I've been working with for, I think, two months, and he just the price never worked. It wasn't um, – we weren't a good fit for each other at the time, but we stayed in contact. Uh -huh. And the sell on his home fell through last week, and he has to move, and there's a time crunch. And, and because of that relationship, I was the person he called. Uh -huh. So I think I made – I think he's happy with – my offer and I should get him under contract on Monday. Um, and then there's two other leads, Billy Grant. Uh -huh. I was at, up at his house this morning, um, took some pictures and did just a quick, quick inspection. But I think there's a good chance that it might be a very small margin, but uh -huh. I think I'll be able to get him under contract and 
uh, even if my assignment fee isn't as large, I, I know a, a buyer who'd be interested in this property. And uh, like I said, maybe even if I only make like 5K, it'll be very positive for that relationship yeah. with that buyer to give him that deal. And then I'm excited about Michael John. It's uh, it's not a it's not a house. I mean, it is a house, but it's teardown value. But it's five acres of land in a fairly prominent area. Mm -hmm. um, and so we we're going back and forth about the specifics of a lease back right now. But we've already agreed on a number. So I think there's a very good chance I can get him under contract. Uh -huh. And that, that'll be a unique experience for me uh, working with buyers for a development deal like this. But I, I'm sure that we can make it happen. Yeah, I'm sure you can make it happen. This is amazing news and really, really good numbers. And you've been working with Azul Media for roughly three months, right? Yeah, yep. And how do you feel uh, the quality of these leads? For example, in the first few weeks compared to this last couple of weeks, um, how has it changed or progressed? Yeah, uh, so the, the quantity has absolutely improved okay. uh, since the first half of the, that period to the second half, mm -hmm. which was expected and, and anticipated, but uh, there's certainly been an improvement in quantity. Uh, the quality, I, I would say there's been some improvement, but I would say more of what's changed is that, uh, especially out of the first, the leads I got that first half, there weren't, you know, leads are not all, and this is something I'm getting better at, at cookie cutter, and not every lead is a lead for a cash offer. Yeah. That's true. Uh, and so I think at the beginning, there weren't a lot of cookie cutter, you know, really cut and dry leads for cash offers. They were, the homes were too nice. Um, mm -hmm. And then maybe they would have been a good fit for something like Novation, which was not a tool I had at the time. But uh, the, there's been an, with the overall increase in the quantity has come an increase of both traditional cash leads. And then also just a, a good number of leads that I, as I continue to develop the tools that I need, I'm able to take more and more advantage of with situations like leasebacks or innovations. Okay, okay. And uh, you told me about the follow-up process when you get, once you get a hold of the leads. But for example, once you get a, a, a lead on the CRM system, how mm -hmm. is your process till you get them on the phone? I, okay, well, okay, I think I understand what you're asking. Um, I, my initial, I'll usually, once the lead comes in, mm -hmm. um, Usually uh, within, I'll give them a chance to respond to the, the handful of messages, that series that they get initially. And then if it's during the daytime, I'll give them a call uh, mm -hmm. and leave a voicemail if I need to. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I've had fairly good success just being able to get them on the phone. Um, I think what, what's worked for the best is trying to immediately introduce myself to them as somebody who can, in addition to the particular solution I might be pitching them, can provide more education mm -hmm. about the process that they're going through. So there's been plenty of leads. David Bennett, I think, is another example of a lead. He might have been my first lead uh, that came in the beginning yeah, of June. Um, we, I, I don't know what's going to happen with that lead, uh, but we've stayed in touch and I've checked in with him biweekly since then. Mm -hmm. And his home has, got, has fallen, the contract's fallen apart once on it. And mm -hmm. I think he's going, maybe getting it under contract right now and at a much higher retail price than I can offer him. But I feel confident that if, mm -hmm. that I'm his immediate backup, if anything were to happen yeah. there. And so I think just establishing myself as someone who can educate on the, on their retail process or whatever their mm -hmm. process might look like um, has been the most helpful thing for me to, for the leads to be people who want to take my calls, want to respond yeah. to my text is trying to immediately get put some kind of value in their life. Mm -hmm. that's really true that's an amazing mindset and I highly respect you for that because not many people think the same way as you do so yeah congrats Thank on you. that congrats Thank on that that's uh, an amazing follow-up from you and I also wanted to ask you for all of my future clients and the clients that mm -hmm. we have right now in the agency that are going through a similar process that you are Maybe they are not so soaked in with the whole information in the um, in this specific market, or they don't understand how to negotiate or close a deal. Like, what would you recommend these people to do to be like yeah. to success, like you did? The I think the biggest piece of advice I would have, and this has been the obstacle that I've spent the most time overcoming and continue to work on, is mm -hmm. having multiple exit strategies, multiple offers that you can present the deal. 
if you've just got the one offer of a cash offer, then it can be really easy to identify, like, have something early on make you feel like that's not going to work and then not see it as a lead that you're able to close. Mm -hmm. uh, but knowing that there's five or six different ways you could pitch them different numbers keeps you from giving up on a lead uh, mm -hmm. and keeps the conversation going. And the more information you can get, the more you can start to cater what that offer might look like. Mm -hmm. I haven't done any creative finance or subject to deals yet, but I feel comfortable enough uh, with that process to entertain those numbers so that it, it, that gives me, you know, much more conversation than I can have yeah. with a seller. And, and you weren't uh, doing that at the beginning. No, at, at the beginning um, was really only, the only offer that I felt confident in was mm -hmm. cash offers. Yes which are great, uh, but are not all, not what all offers are going to be or what all leads are going to be. Yeah, that's totally true. And do you think that a thing that might help you with the process, with the follow-up, the quality of the leads, like everything to close this deal, do you think that obviously Hazel Media and the customer service has something to do with it? Like, do you feel that, we, that you're being taken care of? I do. I do. I, um, I like the CRM. It, it's a fair, it's a great way for me to keep this organized. I think it becomes more important every day. Um, it's not that important when you've got eight leads you're managing. Uh, it's incredibly important if you've got hundreds. I mean, you know, it just, it's something that becomes, I, I have to use it and stay updated with it more and more, the larger we get, which is great to have that tool there. Uh, the calls with you are very helpful. The videos with Juan are incredibly helpful. You know, there's a, an incredible amount of information out there and, and YouTube and paid courses and plenty of things that I'm a part of. Uh, and, and I would say Juan is as helpful as everything else that I'm finding and, and provide some really valuable and specific insight into how to mm -hmm. close these leads. So I've been very happy with, with the process and what you all have been able to bring to the table. And I mean, I, frustrations is too strong of a word, but I understand that my, the, time it's taken me to get to this point where I'm closing a deal was, was going to happen because of my, you know, newness in this side of the business and, uh, and my inability at the beginning to offer more than a cash offer. Yeah. But you're persistent and you're really good and you put a lot of effort in your campaign and your leads. So I knew that this was going to happen, but I'm really happy that it happened so soon. And that you're also about to close a few more deals with another lead. This is amazing yeah. numbers, amazing news. And yeah, yeah it's been a good two weeks. The results, definitely. It pays off. Absolutely. Pays off. So I've also, uh, over the last week, mm -hmm. met with a couple through the process of marketing Cindy's contract, uh -huh. have formed um, deeper and better relationships with local buyers that I can already feel like I, when I'm seeing some of these properties now, I'm able to, you know, think of them already because I know their needs. And um, I think there's going to be some opportunities for me to assign deals to some of these buyers for mm -hmm. no assignment fee and get paid a profit split on the back end. Mm -hmm. well, that's really good as well. Which should be a larger amount. Uh huh. And you're planning to do it like right now, next week, next month. Yeah, um, I think it could be a good fit for both the five acres of land. I'd love to do it for that five acres if I yes. get a profit, a split a profit on that development deal. It might take a year, but um, I think I think somebody, whoever buys that is probably going to put five new builds on it. Mm -hmm. And I'd yep. love to be a part of that more than just an assignment fee. And then with, um, with Billy's house that I mentioned that I looked at this morning, it in particular, I, I think that the price that I'm going to get it under contract at there's going to be hardly any room for an assignment fee, maybe 5k. Um, so that's another one that I've got a buyer in mind that um, we've, we've already discussed the idea of me bringing him one with no assignment fee in exchange for uh, some sort of profit split on the back end. So I think that's something that I could utilize in, you know, this, this week, this month. Mm -hmm. And you can also use those as portfolios. Like whenever you have to meet a lead and they don't trust enough in your expertise, you can also show them, these houses, they don't have to know how much money you got from them, but mm -hmm. as long as the new owners and the past owners are happy with your job and the pricing, the house, everything, they're going to give you a little bit more trust. So it's amazing that you're getting these leads that honestly, a lot of people will be like, oh, I have no time for that, but we should have time for those because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, it's your job, your career, and you're putting the effort on it. So 
congrats on that, Carter. Really, thank you. Really, that's that's amazing. And yeah, thank you so much for your time for this success call. This was really insightful. There's a lot of things that obviously we haven't talked in our check-in because we haven't had it. So I'm really glad to see these numbers to see yeah, that you're doing really, really good. And I'm really happy that you're happy with the service as well. That's part of my, well, that's my whole job. And I'm really glad that you feel that I'm helping you throughout the process because I know that it was really difficult for you at the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate your help and appreciate your time. No worries, no worries. Thank you for your time, Carter. And yeah, I'm gonna cut this uh, success call and we can schedule our next check-in for, I think it's gonna be in two weeks, but I'm gonna Sounds give good. you, I'm gonna text you on Monday, okay? Sure, sounds great. Okay. I Thank really you. hope that you close those deals, let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated. Thank you so much, for, uh, Carter, sorry, have a really good day. Thank you, you too, bye. Bye-bye.